Hi, and welcome back to a another recap of, of, of what I got in this week. My name is John Snyder, and uh, this week I have a wide variety of things to show you. I have some signed cards, some signed 3x5 cards, um, a couple of uh, signed books. One of those was in person, and four autographed baseballs. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have lots of uh, autographed baseballs. It's my first actual uh, passion of collecting, and... Uh, so anyway, I bought uh, some balls this week and would like to show them to you at the end. Okay, first off, let me show you the cards I got this week. These are all cards that came through the mail. Uh, the first one I'll show you is a 2013 Topps card of Cardinals shortstop Daniel Descalso. Sign this card. There we go. Sign it in black with kind of a dark background, so it's a little difficult to see. Next up, this one's going to be even harder to see because he used a ballpoint pen, but it is there. Uh, and that is uh, Yankees pitcher Steve Shields signed this card. And it's in the upper, it's in the upper left corner. There, he wrote it in ballpoint pen, so it's again very hard to see. That's an '89 Topps card. Next up is a 1981 Topps card of uh, former Giants outfielder Max Venable. Sign this 81 Topps card in black. Uh, next up uh, is a 1989 Topps card of uh, Milwaukee Brewers uh, pitcher Bill Wegman. Signed it in blue. There's that. He also included a uh, religious note or religious pamphlet or uh, page uh, that he sent as well that came with that. Then I uh, then let me show you two things I got today. Uh, also, two '89 Topps cards. Uh, former Minnesota Twins outfielder Mark Davidson signed in blue. And then another card that I got today was former Tiger. This is also 89 Tops. Uh, and this came from Tigers infielder, Detroit Tigers infielder, Jim Wellwander signed this 89 Tops card. I also got one football return, uh, actually a really good one. Uh, uh, I think this came in either Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, and this uh, is from San Diego Charger. Hall of Fame quarterback Dan Fouts signed this card. Signed in blue there, there down by the bottom. Okay, so those are the cards, uh, those are the sports cards I got this week. Um, I also got, I also got two three by five cards as well. Uh, the first one is actress Julie Adams. I got the idea to write to her because she was in, I believe, an episode of the Andy Griffith Show, one of my old-time favorite shows, and she uh, she did a guest appearance as a, I think, a nurse in in, in one of the uh, episodes of Andy Griffith, and she was in a lot of uh, she's been in a lot of uh, small, I think, more smaller scale movies. Uh, and then finally, uh, for three by five cards, I got also this week uh, actress. Allison Arngrim, and she played Nellie Olson on Little House on the Prairie, and so she signed that 3x5 card. So those are the cards I got. Uh, then let me show you a couple of books that I got. Uh, this first book was a purchase on eBay from uh, a real YouTube legend, Zane Savage, I bought this from. Uh, this is a book on the Hall of Fame, the Baseball Hall of Fame, and I purchased it with four autographs already inside. As you'll see, there are four autographs inside. In there is Bobby Doerr, Jim Bunning, uh, Whitey Herzog, and Lee McPhail are the four autographs on there. Now, I purchased this because 
um, because uh, it's going to, of course, spur me on to a project to try to find more autographs to actually place in the book. So I can see myself now writing to some of the other Hall of Famers and adding their book plates to this book. So that's my plan, and uh, Zane was uh, kind enough to include some, uh, so, some extra uh, book plates to put in uh, uh, that I can use to send out to hopefully get more autographs for this book. So that was the first book I got, and I want to thank Zane Savage for that. So the next book I'm going to show you is a book I actually got in person. I went last Friday to a book signing over at a, a bookstore uh, close to where I live, uh, and uh, actor, comedian Tim Conway was signing books at the store, and so um, and so I got his his autograph, and he signed right here on the title page. There we go. And he did a really funny talk. He, he, he uh, he's a very funny man. Obviously, if you've seen the Carol Burnett show, and he also did McHale's Navy, and uh, a very funny man. I really enjoyed going to that. So that one I got in person. Okay. Uh, let me see. I did. I should have mentioned this uh, when I was showing the Zane Savage uh, book. He also included was kind enough to also include two cards that he did, that I didn't even know he was going to send. Uh, and that is Jim Palmer signed card. Comes with a certificate of authenticity on the back. And he also did the same thing on this card. And this is St. Louis Cardinals outfielder Lou Brock signed this card. So again, thank you to Zane Savage for that because he included that along with the book uh, that I purchased. So I really appreciate that. So I wanted to show that. And then finally, if you remember a few uh, a few videos ago, I um, I uh, showed you a signed bat that I got, and I told you that I got it from a guy in Florida, uh, who uh, he lives in Bradenton, Florida, right near where the Pittsburgh Pirates do their spring training every year, and uh, so he um, so I've bought quite a few bats from him over the years, uh, and and. Uh, but he also sells some autographed baseballs, and so uh, he, he has quite a few Pirates autographs, and so uh, I bought uh, four balls from him, uh, and they came this week, so I'd like to show you those. Uh, one of them, th uh, three of them are Pirates, and one of them is a Hall of Fame broadcaster, so, so let me show you those. The first one, this ball is kind of beat up, it's a spring training baseball, a game used, signed by... Signed by uh, Pittsburgh Pirates second baseman Neil Walker. Signed that. As you can see the big scuff mark down here on the bottom. So, I, so it gives you an idea of how, how used this ball has been. Okay. The next one I wanted to show you is this one is, is Pirates pitcher. May not be a Pirate next year. I think he's a free agent now. But this is... Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher A.J. Burnett signed this ball. Uh, the next one is another Pirate, and this is a rookie uh, Pittsburgh Pirate, very promising pitcher, and figures to be there for a long time. This is uh, pitcher Garrett Cole signed this ball. And then the Hall of Fame broadcaster is none other than former ESPN uh, uh, personality and baseball expert. Now uh, he works for the MLB Network, I believe. This is Peter Gammons signed this uh, this uh, Major League Baseball and included his Hall of Fame year, which I believe is 2005. He was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame as a broadcaster. So those are the things I got in this week. I want to thank all of those people that signed for me this week, and uh, and the purchases for the people that were able to um, I was able to buy those items from. I appreciate it very much. If you have any comments, feel free to uh, leave them and uh, or any questions, and I'll be happy to pass them along. So anyway, thank you so much, and I look forward to talking to you next week.